Okay, guys. So I have the results back from IB uh, from the the job that I sent to a real quantum computer in IBM Brisbane. Um, they sent me the job back with this results of what it analyzed and uh, what it tested to confirm. Basically, it just confirms um, you know the job that I did here on my quantum circuits. The real quantum computer is going to confirm exactly what I actually did. All right, so these are the results, right? This is from IBM Quantum Computer at Brisbane, a real quantum computer that I sent this job to. And you see that it says zero, it says zero, zero, one, 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 right? Um, but there's a little small outcome here, zero, one, one, zero. But that's so small that we're, that's not um, counted as uh, the the real um, accurate measurement, the real accurate measurement over the average of the 1,024 um, trials or the average, the 1,024 tests are these two large bars here. <clears throat> this is what it came up, came up with the most when it did its 1,024 um, test results. So these two large bars are what we're going to go by, right? These right here are outliers that happen a small amount of times, but not enough times to be counted as the um, the uh, main measurement or the, the the real measurement over the the thousand uh, test trials, right? That this uh, job was uh, measured or tested. Okay, so you got one 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 here. You got zero, zero, zero here. All right. So what does that tell me? OK, let's look at the first number. You got a one here and you got a zero here. So that means that that first qubit line is both a zero and one. Right. And then we go to the second number. It says a one. The second number here says a zero. That means the second qubit line is both a zero <clears throat> and a one. And then you go to the third number. It says one. And this third number here says zero. So that means this third line here is both a zero and a one, right? But since we only have two states here, right? We have two states here, right? We only have the one, one, one and the zero, zero, zero. <clears throat> this tells me that these three qubits Remember, the first one is one here. This is a zero here that equates to one qubit. The second number here is one. The second number here is zero that equates to two qubits. The third number here is one. And the second number here is zero that equates to three qubits. And it's only three qubits. How do we know that? Because there's only three circuit lines that where there's um, gates. You don't count these right here. There's no gates here. There's only these three circuit lines that have gates and measurements so we're only dealing with three qubits so like i said the reason why we know that these three are all entangled is because there's three qubits right and there's only two states is one 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 and zero 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 that's how we know that these qubits are entangled Another way we know that these cubes are entangled along with that is that there's a one and zero on each um, in each series. Right. The first one, is one, zero. The second one is one, zero. The third is one, zero. All right. That's it.